and welcome to the Big T Show. I almost said the THC TV. <laughs> um, we are back. Berger and the dog, me and Reese on a Friday. Yo, what's going on? How you doing, Reese? Thanks for thanks for joining me, brother. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, Mateo, good. we should be doing a, a Sunday show through Zoom. Uh, Corona times. Mateo is trying to um, stay safe, you know. I'm going to make sure he has a condom on on the show. Uh, <laughs> Full body condom. Yeah, shout out to Mateo. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to run it back again on Sunday. But, you know, it's Friday. Wanted to bring you an episode. Uh, a lot going on. How you doing, Reese? Yeah, all good. All good. Uh, you know, dreary sucks, but, you know. Dreary couple of days in Corona's New York. back, it seems. So. Uh, is it back? <sighs> Did it ever leave? I, like... You know what I mean? Like I, I, I've been comparing it to. Is it like what? Like herpes? Did yeah. It, did I it mean, ever leave? Yeah, I've been saying it. I'm like, it, you don't want genital herpes. You know what I mean? But <laughs> a cold sore, most people have. You know what I mean? You get cold sores? I do not know. Oh, so you're in, you're lucky. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I, my like, parents get them. Oh yeah. So I'd assume that I probably should have had it, but maybe like I yeah, heard well, there are people that don't get it. So maybe yeah, I'm well, just one of those type that doesn't I, get it. Hey, listen, all that repressed anger you hold in is from your mom not hugging and kissing you. <laughs> but all that anger, you don't get cold sores. So that's, you take the good with the bad on that <laughs> you one. Know? You know what I mean? <laughs> Would you rather Valtrex or therapy? I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, but uh, my one friend, he'd rather disappear for like a week or two. With white, he puts like zinc on his lip. It's like, yo, shithead, go get Valtrex. No, just go, in, just go in the closet. Like, yo, you know, just hide yourself. But, but uh, no, but you can get Valtrex once you feel that tingleization. You know what I mean? You feel anything weird? Take the two pills right away. You're talking from experience. It seems like yes, yes. <laughs> and, well, fuck you. Valtrex has like a dirty, dirty. Uh, you know what I mean? It just sounds dirty because we associate it with herpes. And herpes always gets uh, associated with, like, genital herpes, right? Like, whenever somebody says herpes, they always, they're not really thinking of, like, cold sores. They're thinking of, like, a fucking wart on your dick, you know? Yeah, bumps, bruises, the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, listen, this week I want, I'm going to do an unboxing. Hold, hold it down for a second, Reese. Uh, yeah, here I, we I go. Have, I have good friends that take care of me. Oh, oh, oh right here. Look at this. Yeah, hold, just hold it up. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. There you Ooh. go. Packwoods, yeah, everyone has Packwoods. Everyone's seen them. But you ever see it like this? Look at this bad boy. Look at this. Look, ooh, look at the packaging. Two grams of fucking Top Shelf Bud, some Keef, and some uh, Terp Sauce. And listen, we we have pre-rolls. I've had Packwoods before, but never this big of a jammy. And I'm sorry, Reese, that I do get cold sores, and it is Corona season, <laughs> so I can't share. So I will be seeing none of that. <laughs> yeah, so I have, <laughs> I have a... a Oh shit! I brought my other ashtray downstairs, but I'll keep. We'll share that one. But I, I'm gonna. Oh, so I'm you gonna, will share. I'm gonna smoke this on the air. You know, a little unboxing. I'll like, be honest with you. That thing does look fully legit. Like one of the best. It's definitely in the best packaging I've probably seen out of a. Um, I guess a weed cart pa- packaging of any of the or, or any of those products. I should say, it looks phenomenal. And listen, I, I've had the Packwoods before. But yeah, they usually just come in like the, in those tubes, though. They don't usually come in a box. No, just usually the glass tube. And look at this bad boy. Let's you know go. I mean? Let's get a closer it, look of that. Let's get a close. Hold that up. Hold that up. Let, let let everybody get a closer look at that. Look at that thing. Boom. It's beautiful. Nice glass tip. It's beautiful. Like I said, they, I've had the Packwoods before, but never. That looks like top top shelf shit. Box. Just packaging. I'm gonna smoke this the whole show in the air. We have a lot to get into. Um, the Big Tits Big Picks of the Week. Uh, I hope you haven't been watching or listening because <laughs> I've been getting my dick handed to me. And I'm just glad October's over. Bad October, chasing money. And you know what? I always talk about, like, the seven sins or whatever this shit's called, right? And greed is a motherfucker. And I got fucking greedy this month. And Lust is my favorite. Sorry. Lust? <laughs> Lust? Yeah, it's my favorite. Oh, no, that, I didn't say I love greed. I just I got <laughs> greedy this month. <laughs> um, and check in. We're on Facebook Live. Leave a comment below. Oh, yeah, I, I love lust. You know what I mean? I lost a lot of things. Food, women, my neighbors. You know what I mean? <laughs> Covered thy neighbor's wife? Yeah. I, 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 that shit always got me hot when I was learning CCD. Like... Like, all the other ones, do not steal, do not lie. It's like, all right, whatever, man. Like, thou shall not covet my neighbor's wife. And I'm thinking about my neighbors, and I'm like, like that made me want to, like, it's that ODD. You that started coveting? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> one of my exes uh, would diagnose me with ODD. Uh, ops, uh, something obs- um, Obsessive. Something, de- uh, no, something, so- <laughs> <laughs> something obstructive. This, like a, a, a disobedient disorder. Something along those lines. Sure. 
and you tell me not to do something, I want to do it even more. You know what I mean? They told me not to eat ass during so, the corona. So, so you're basically a two-year-old. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I started drinking at a young age so that you take on the personality of when you started abusing alcohol. So around, like, I'm a, I'm a two-year-old in a 14-year-old body. You know what I mean? In a woman's, in a fucking forty-year-old woman's body that had five kids with the fucking fooper and the fucking saggy tits, but I'm here today to talk and laugh about it. But uh, yeah, like that, in CCD, I, I always said like I, I'd get my ass kicked coming home from public school, but like two for Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever it was, I'd go to CCD and this scumbag brother Thomas, like yo, bro, we have the same name. Like, you know what I mean? Not supposed to be ratting me out saying I'm fucking around. Because, like, I went from public school being an animal, then going to CCD being an animal. And then, like... And that's a totally different animal. Yeah, and then he would rat on me. I'd go home again and get my ass kicked twice on once. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, yo, Brother Thomas, like, am I too fat to get molested? Like, stop being a rat, scumbag. <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, come on. But, yeah, no, when they would say, thou shalt not covet thou neighbor's wife. And I'm like, that's all I want to do now. You know what I mean? Ever since I was a kid. Let's fuck my neighbor's wife. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is awesome. This uh, pack wood. Yeah, so so give give a little review. What's the taste? Hitting it's, well. It's Z Skittles, which I know is a. It's saying hybrid on the box, but I know uh, the Skittles is usually more indica, and I love indica. You know what I mean? Like these people that say, "Hey, you have any uh, gummies? Sativa gummies?" Like what? Like, you know what I mean? It's like Bill, like Bill Cosby giving you a Diet Coke roofie. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there is no light roofie. There is no light. Hey, I'm going to eat this edible and be creative. Creative in what? What you eat? You fucking <laughs> retard? Like, there's nothing coming back from eating edible. It's sativa edibles. Like, what? Like, What's the point is what you're saying? Yes, yes, yes. Are we trying to suppress these childhood traumas or what? But, um. You know I am. Yeah. And listen, it's Friday. I just jacked up two cups of coffee. Uh, and I haven't eaten edibles since Monday. You know what I mean? I, we did, because after last week's episode, I don't know if you fucking watched, but uh, it, <laughs> I was a bag of shit. You know what I mean? And like, I, I, ate, I ate probably fucking six, seven servings of Zeppelis, of Mo- like which one will do you right? And then like the food and this, like I, I, like I said in my post today, I was promoting the Zeppeli episode on Instagram. I was like, it's like a reverse sodomy you know what i mean like my body like my poor colon the amount of food i'm eating the shit that i gotta process that comes out like my my butthole can't handle like, <laughs> I mean, it's like used to probably people normally shit maybe once a day you know, I, I don't know i, I, I don't want to get <laughs> talk about my business too much because people probably like that's weird why do you go five times but like you know what i mean like like it's not normal <laughs> to process all that food let alone the amount of thc i'm eating and next you know, like I'm off the, I'm off life. For like, t- like if I do it twice a week, that's like most of my week gone. And I'm trying to be successful. I'm trying to be a comedian. I gotta write, and I feel a lot better. I'm, I'm doing 110 miles an hour right now. I feel good, and I'm gonna eat it when I have the show. So and everything feels good, but your asshole. <laughs> I get, I get reverse raped by edibles from the amount of food. <laughs> like it's not going in, it's going out. You like, feel ah. a poke from the other side. <laughs> I'm like in the bed. It's like a, 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 a weird reverse prison rape scene. Like, you know what I mean? Like, instead of getting me in the shower, forcing it in me, I'm on the bowl, forcing it out of me. <laughs> so the shit's throwing, in, throwing you in the corner and shoving the plunger up your ass? Or out of your ass? Yeah, out of my ass. Like, I remember this girl, this is years ago, this like heavy chick. She was like, I guess trying to talk dirty to me. She was like, yeah, I was thinking about you at work today. I took a huge shit and just felt like you were sliding in me. And I was like, what? Was that supposed to turn you on? No, it skeeved me out. I, I don't think I fucked her after that. Because well, I was just not. thinking like a, a, like a, a femur coming out of her asshole, like a leg. <laughs> and she was just like, yeah, Tommy boy. <laughs> but like, I never fucked her in the ass because... Because she would shit all I over I had you. bad experience fucking a girl in the ass once, and like, especially a heavy girl. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's probably like fucking happy meals and shit, and <laughs> just clogging her colon. But like, uh. <laughs> I, I, I have to be better with the edibles, because like I said, it, a trickle down effect. I'm going to do it on the THC TV with Big T. I have to. That's part of my job. I'm also CEO of Bake Which Mama Gave You, head of quality control. That's part of my job. But you know what? I know, like, I just made those amazing salted chocolate chip cookies looking amazing. Lusting at me I'm lusting at them They did look good And I, I can't eat them But I know they're there So the quality control's there You know what I mean Like But like Monday I had cherry pie uh, Shout out to Jay Gutter He was on the Big T show He In his video etc He 
uh, makes a cherry pie just by chance. And I was like, yeah, come on the THC TV. I'll medicate a cherry pie. What? What the fuck happened? Don't hit click on the bottom. Oh, the wrong thing. Yeah, you're clicking on the wrong thing, bro. <laughs> I was going to say, yo, still, we still could. could you, it's possible. Oh, what it's fuck? possible that we still are live, oh. which is funny. What the yeah. fuck? And look, see, totally. Oh, my bad, alive. my bad. Technical difficulties here on a Friday. Um, <laughs> That's why I said, keep going, man. We're probably still <laughs> yeah, on. I don't know. I, how the fuck did we stop that? But, um, I've never seen that happen. So, before, Monday, that, cherry, that was a new one. cherry pie, and it was absolutely amazing. My old friend from my old apartment, Harry, 96 years old, is MIA. God bless him. MIA since then. What do you mean? He's been missing. Wait, so you might have killed the United States? No, he girl. came on the show at the end and was like, couldn't take it no more. I like bum rushed the set and just started eating the cherry pie. Wait, he didn't know though? He knew. All right. Because he, he would watch me, he would come over and watch me medicate my cereal treats, this. We would just hang out. Then I, I'd, I'd be high as shit. I'd take him to the diner. He wouldn't eat them though? Like well, that was the first time him eating it? <laughs> he was, he was, we would go out to eat all the time because I, uh, I like listening to, he had fucking stories for days. He like, he, he, he like uh, sold a speedboat for an abortion. And abortion back then was the same price it is now. Fucking inflation proof abortions. <laughs> and then he was telling me about stealing all these, like, uh, what's that shit from history? Like the war marks? Like, it, the Do not Deutsche marks. Like, after World War II, they made this, like, currency up. And he would steal all this German currency and then, like, ship it back to his friend. Like, he, yo, he made over, like, 200000 stealing these war. There's something I, I remember hearing about. Not Deutsche marks? In, in history. You no, know, something after World War II. They made this currency to, inf to help Germany. So get Europe back on track or some shit. And he was taking them from there and shipping them back here. And, and came Interesting cat is what I'm trying to say. Sure. Then, like, we went out to eat to the steakhouse. And I ate a banana bread before. He's seen it. I ate all the bread, the steak. There was no fat left. It's everything. It's always the banana bread. Everything. <laughs> everything. And then you need to go to stop and shop afterwards. We're in there. I'm eating salami in the aisle, packages of cheese. And he's like, guy, what are you doing? He always calls me guy. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I even showed up at his house once after uh, an open mic. Because <laughs> he always stays up late and shit. And uh, he answers the door in a daishiki. It was like fucking orange, brown, with like blue stripes. I was like, this is strange. It's like 1 in the morning, one thirty. I'm high as shit. I, I thought he was up. And I ate a whole box of fucking chocolate. And like... He's like, guy, I was falling asleep on the couch. He's like, gotta go upstairs, guy. And then the next day, he's like, Tommy, I, I, I fought Germans in World War II and this. He goes, I've never seen anyone eat a chocolate like that. Like, I wowed this guy. He fought Nazis, and I'm eating a box of chocolate wowing him. What chocolate was it? Uh, some, like, Forrest Gump shit. Okay. And, but he wouldn't give me the peanut M&Ms, fucking scumbag. But, uh. So that night, he's like, so I can't. That, so that's why you killed him. He's like, I can't sleep. And, and this is this gives you that appetite? No, he can't sleep and eat because he's older. He's like, so if I eat that, I'm like, yeah, eat just the corner of the banana bread. Of course, rookie move. He didn't feel it. And he went back in for more. And he said, Tommy, I fell. He goes, I fell. I fell in increments. I'm like, what? He thought he was falling through the air like the Matrix. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm struggling. <laughs> So this is the first. So we had. So this is his first experience on edibles. No, the, the banana, banana bread. bread. Yeah, I'm saying the banana bread. <laughs> and then he said he was allergic to weed. So <laughs> <laughs> he he couldn't fucking he couldn't eat it no more. You know what I mean? Like he had a bad experience. He fell. He couldn't get off the floor for like a, a day. He said. So <laughs> now we're doing the cherry pie on Monday. Shout out to Jay Gutter and. Phenomenal with the fucking Hagen Dazs. It was bubbling. It was fucking awesome. He couldn't help himself because it smelled amazing. And I only gave him a little bit. And then I he got out of there. We had pizza. And I just haven't heard from him since. I'm probably I I didn't feed it to him. He took it. So I'm not incriminating incriminating myself on the air. <laughs> but Harry, if you're out there, you know what I mean? Let me know you're alive. Yeah, brother. man. I hope everything's okay. Uh, you know what I mean? Good. The fucking Germans could have got him, but <laughs> the cherry pie did. The damn cherry pie did. <laughs> oh man. But, uh, yeah, no, it was a fucking awesome episode. I can't, like I said, I'm just going to fucking eat it when I have my show. Cause I, and I feel great. You know what I mean? Like, people are going to think I'm on drugs again because I'm going to have all this energy and, like, drink it. I'm just dripping sweat right now. <laughs> <clears throat> but, um, you know what I mean? Hopefully Harry's okay. We'll check, check him out. He also came with me one time to an open mic. 
he uh, kept he kept saying, "Hey, I want to come with you to open mic." I'm like, Are "You sure?" Like, yeah, you know I mean, it's, it's it's weird. You know what I mean? Like, I even though I have like it's, people it's, ask me to call me O'Neill DJ. It's fun if I mean. Yeah, but like for a 97 year old, 96 year old, yeah, man, it's, maybe maybe he'll find something funny. So I'm sure I want to joke. One but, or two jokes will hit towards him, right? Like, like, he ran in front of my car. He goes, I thought you were going to call me. I'm like, hop in. Hop in, motherfucker. You know what I mean? I'm eating edibles. I'm smoking weed. You better fucking be ready for this. And we went to the creek. And the creek is the place where I had my first open mic ever. And sad news last night. The creek and the cave in Long Island City, Queens, is closing. Rebecca Trent, the owner, just kept it up, kept trying to go. It was a dive, Reese. Stage upstairs, Mexican food, downstairs bar. Dungeon, like fucking, like size of this room, open mic, and it, it, not bottom of the barrel, but it's just like, it, it was just a, it was just a spot, man, and it was just sad seeing all these posts. Another victim of this fucking corona bullshit, man. A, a comedy club in fucking Queens, like just where, ev- like Michael Che, fucking Jay Okerson, they they did Legion of Skanks there, Skank Fest, like all these, like I, I'm Joe List. There's so many fucking comics. That came through from the creek, and now it's fucking closed, and it's just fucking sad, man. Like, now they want to lock down more shit? Like, like, like what? what? Like, are they that stupid? If people have no money to buy stuff, how are they going to collect taxes? Isn't that what this government lives on? This whole thing is is just ass backwards and retarded. Like, right now, you know, with the whole restaurants and shit, like, yo, you see what they're doing? Now they're putting enclosures on the seats that are outside. Yeah, the little little domes. Just fucking go inside. <laughs> Just fucking go inside. Yeah. What are we doing here? It's insane. It's fucking retarded. And listen, I, I was supposed to do an open mic in the city today. I'm thinking about it. I'm like, yo, if shit's on the rise, is this does this make sense for me to go out there? And I'm being lazy, not trying to travel in that fucking <laughs> mid afternoon Friday traffic on a rainy Friday. Like, nah, that's yeah. like the opposite of the reverse sodomy. It's real sodomy <laughs> at that point. Like, Jesus. Sodomizing yourself, bro. Yeah, like, and this is pretty good. I don't know. This, uh, it's a, it's, it probably retails for around like 60, 70, maybe 80 on a good day. Just because I know how much it costs and my, and my friend gave it to me. Damn. Is it worth it? We'll see. We'll see. And like I said, I've been weaning myself off the edibles, which is tough. A lot of sleepless nights. And then, like, I can't sleep, and I wake up exhausted because I didn't sleep all night because all I'm thinking about is eating edibles. And I've been sleeping later, and, like, <laughs> yo, when you don't get a good start on the day, the day's lost. You know, but I've been smoking more wax and incorporating more CBD, and we'll see what happens. Like, this, I don't even know if this is getting me high. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I need the edibles. Like, I'm at that point. Like, I'm, I'm almost halfway through this. I don't even feel fucking high. Not in a bad way. You know, it's I'm just a fucking freak. Just like you with the not feeling the edibles. Which we're going to get to probably a couple weeks because I, I took care of a lot of the guests I had lined up on THC TV. Mm-hmm. And we're going to do the milligram challenge. You and my other friend who's going to be off camera, augmented That's voice. Right. And uh, right. we're going to start you off with like 1,500 milligrams, like three bags of gummies right off the bat. And we'll fucking see. We'll see where you go. I'm, I'm looking forward to this because I, I get angry when people say they don't feel the edibles. And there's a certain select group of people in the world like that, that sounds like racist like, yeah. no, but it's always been that way I remember like back in the day like with those you know it just started when you first started eating weed cookies like we're talking years ago like fucking 15 years ago and shit you know remember when we first like came around like somebody would bake them we'd be able to make them or something like that and people would be getting I'm like I'm like nah like I never got high I, I always thought they just they didn't do it right and then people were just fucking lying to me saying they were getting high that's honestly what I always thought like, they're fucking liars. I was like, they're not high. They're just fucking saying they are. But well, maybe they were getting high, and it's really just me. I got, my theory is because you do eat a lot. It's not like you're like eating kale salads and shit. You eat a lot, but you're skinny as fuck. So you, I think your body just processes whatever is in there. Fucking cheeseburgers, weed. You know what I mean? Like, so it has no time to absorb, I think. Maybe. Some, that's, um, that's what I'm thinking on paper. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like... But well, listen, we'll find out. Stay tuned. Milligram challenge. Reese. Should be interesting. Uh, my friend who has a city job is going to be off camera. See his hands. <laughs> augmented voice. If you ever want to sit in, let me know. But uh, yeah, no, RIP the creek. That's my first spot I ever went to. And it's just, it was, yo, it was legit sad, man. Like, I love going there. It was a pain in the ass driving 45 minutes in the same county, the Long Island City. But it was always late. There was multiple fucking mics. 
And you know what I mean? I can fucking meet people there and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a good spot. Though. Yeah, okay. My Bronx people, hey, it's a 20 minute ride for them. I, I took care of a lot of things going there. Now I can't <laughs> go there no more. That's a little sad. But uh, listen, uh, I'm just running in. I got a bunch of notes today. I uh, know I've been seeing a lot re- recently. A lot of, it's like they call it cuffing season. You know what I mean? Like the summer's over, slinging dick. You know what I mean? Fucking. It's the winter time. You want to you know, settle down with something for the winter. There's not many options. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. And it goes both ways. Women are feeling the same way. And I've been seeing a lot of women bashing men recently. And I get it. Men suck. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of men suck. Not all men. But it's like, where, where, where's the accountability? You know what I mean? It's like, you're going to stop and shop. And if you pick fucking coffee-flavored yogurt... Like, that's on you. you know I mean, there was vanilla, there was mint chip, there was cookie dough. You chose pistachio coffee yogurt or whatever. I don't even, that sounds pretty good, actually. But, like, fuck it. I don't even like yogurt. Like, where's the accountability? Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's good men out there. You're bashing men. But, yeah, the men suck. There's guys who play games. There's women that play games. There's girls that, sell, that told me, oh, yeah, I let guys eat my ass after I took a shit. Like, that's not nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this I know girls that That's had horrible. Se- I know how gr- I know girls that had sex with multiple guys in one day where they'd even fucking shower. Have guys eat you out after another guy plowed you out. You know what I mean? So it goes both ways. You know what I mean? Like hundred <laughs> percent. Of course. Let me that, reiterate. That is a hundred percent two way street. <laughs> let, not, let, yes. Let me reiterate again. The there girls are said pe- there are horrible people on both sides. She's taking the game, okay? a shit. Both <laughs> teams have bad players, yeah. okay? And, and and let me reiterate, the girl, the girl said, multiple girls have said this, that they let guys eat their ass after they took a shit and didn't shower. That's, that might be worse than beating a girl. <laughs> like, I'd rather a black eye than a brown eye. <laughs> I, I was just, maybe it's just me. I don't know. I, like, that sounds disgusting. Like, you at least... Ice your eye up. Like, Jesus, what are you going to do? Scrape your... Th- There's a lot of tongue scrapers out there now. People, That's where bad breath comes from. But, like, <laughs> I, 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 I still don't want that in my mouth. But, uh... <clears throat> and I'm just... You know what I mean? I'm just, uh... It's like, yo, you, like, you, you're at a restaurant. Like, you see people when they order food. Like, we're at a certain spot and you're picking that? It's like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it it's not just the taste in men. It's your taste in a lot of things. Like, look at your blouse. Look, you know what I mean, like I said, look what you ordered at the restaurant. You complained the food suck. You know what I mean? It's like, there's yeah, just and then some... they didn't want to eat what you had because yo. you picked right and you're eating something good. And that goes into and the, then you're listen, like, yo, nah, you listen, shoes better. But it goes into this also. A woman with bad decision making. You know what I mean? Like now she wants what you have. A girl with a good relationship with a good guy. A lot of these girls go and try to fuck these other guys. I mean, their friends, guy or someone they know. You know what I mean? Because. They're bad at decision makers, and they see someone else happy. Like, yo, reevaluate your life, man. I just see people <laughs> bat these girls recently. Like, there's been an uptick the last couple of weeks, and it's just it makes me so sick. Because, like I always say, by society standards, I should be jerking off way more than I already do. You know what I mean? Which is not that much. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I got no job, I got no hair, I got udders for tits. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I shouldn't be getting laid at all. You know? No, you're a real freak. There's yeah. no doubt about it. And like. It's like, you know what? I know how to treat women. You know what I mean? Like, the Mama Duke I always talk about, corner of the bed, big lick, pussy ass, repeat. Girls love it. You know what I mean? And if the girl doesn't love it, move on. Don't tell it. Don't, you're not a gnat. Don't let her swat you away. You know what I mean? Like, go find someone that'll appreciate you and what you're doing. I smoke the best weed or up there. I eat at the best food spots. So I know how to treat women. You know what I mean? It's like, stop bashing men and, and step back. Like, where's the accountability where eventually it's like, hey, I picked another shithead. You know what I mean? Like, I picked another unripe avocado. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, 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 you know what I mean? Like, I picked super green. I picked plantains when I was looking for a banana. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, where's the accountability? Like, Jesus Christ. Like, stop bashing men, man. Like, bash yourself once in a while. Like, because there's good dudes out there. You know what I mean? Like, and then like they're like, during the Corona, uh, domestic violence is on the rise. It's like, yo, if if you're gonna like, if you're gonna fucking, like, be with someone that you need to rely on that much that you can't get away, like, uh, how is that? I'm not saying. No, and listen, hitting well, women is compl- just you know sometimes like, you had a relationship where you know people are going into work with so like you know you're not seeing each other like 
all the time, and then all of a sudden, like, now you're spending twenty four seven with each other. Yo, it could I, you want to see? It could that could be <laughs> no, like that with anybody. I, listen, I know, I don't, I don't like hitting women. I'm not I saying see, I see. You know, yeah, no I one's s- condoning I see, that. I see why it could happen, but then like, oh, they can't get out of this relationship. Like, hold on, you put all your eggs in this bad choice that you made of a guy. You know what I mean? That you can't get away. Like, come on, man. There's fucking online classes. While that shithead's <laughs> at work thinking about hitting you, you should be online getting your degree and getting out there. You know what I mean? It's 2020. Like, you know, I, I had a premise where this, it's like, yo, <clears throat> like, the, I had these, like, housewives that I meet, and it's like, it's like, hurry up, my children, my husband. It's like, yo, bitch, it's 2020. You didn't catch the memo? Women are in charge now. You know what I mean? Like, it's your time to shine. Go inside. No blowjob. No fucking dinosaur chicken nuggets. The mommy goes in the back and smokes this fucking spliff. How about that? <laughs> How about those apples? And then fucking grab your pussy like Trump and walk in the back and get high. Because it's a woman's <laughs> world. Even if it's still a stupid man's world. But no, it is your time to shine. Things are changing. You know what I mean? Like, fucking, like, what would it, my husband, my kids. Bitch, you're the HBIC. Tell them who the fuck's in charge. No blowjob. Like, motherfucker, I got threatened to say if I voted for Trump, I ain't getting my dick sucked. Guess who didn't vote? Because <laughs> I like getting my dick sucked. You know what I mean? Like, Jesus Christ. Am I the only one that sees the world clearly? <laughs> like, 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 holy shit. Eliminate all the fucking nonsense. And- so that's how Biden got elected? <laughs> <laughs> Bitches be out there changing, <laughs> changing the election. Woo! It's man, yo, it you is. Trump, you you we Trump. Found it out. <laughs> you vote for Orange Man. Shit. <laughs> you vote for Orange Man. Orange Man. Man. <laughs> Don't even get me started on these shitheads. The fucking these political shitheads. Like, like, yo, why don't you worry about going down on your wife? You know what I mean? Like, why don't you worry about keeping your husband happy? Why don't you worry about all the things instead of these shitheads? Yeah, people who get crazy over this shit, you know, it's funny. It's like, you know, we've lit how, you know, we've lived our life through fucking how many Democrat, Republican, fucking. I don't even presidents. know what that means, Reese. Yeah. To be honest, I because be- you want to know why? How much has your life changed? <laughs> Zero. Oh, right? know, why, know why it changed? <laughs> Not because of who's in office. Exactly. Because of what I do. Exactly. No, you mean you worried about them? Like I said, go down on your wife, go down on your husband. You change your life. That is not expected. If I do this, these people are going to change my life. Like, yo, you control what you control, motherfucker. Like, come on. And, like, it goes back to me saying, hey, listen, it goes both ways. There's, I was in a, <laughs> listen, <laughs> we all know, like, I made some bad decisions in my life. Even in relationships, it's not just, I'm not just bashing women. But men, men pick fucking psychopaths. You know what I mean? Like. Oh, no, I said that before. I said, yo, bad players on both sides in that game, man. Listen, I, like, I was a dr- addicted to adrenaline. Of, There's no just of, one side like all oh, oh, men are bad or all women are fucking uh, bitches and shit. No, it's not like that. It's like some are horrible on this side, and some are horrible on this side. And it goes back. Yo, to, make sure you pick the right ones, man. And, and it goes back to <laughs> the 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 uh, like when I said about picking the wrong meal at dinner. Like you're at Rolling Roast, the roast beef spot, and you. Buying a hot dog? It's like, oh, can I get the grilled chicken? See, no, you only buy the hot dog after you've had the roast beef sandwich yeah, with the if, fry and everything. You're like, yo, they, oh, there's a, they, yo, they sell a hot dog now. All right, let's fucking, oh, let's fucking try it. If you're at thirty, when it if you're at thirty three dollars and the free pizza is thirty five, you got the yeah, yeah, hot, 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 yeah, hot dog on there. No doubt, you're not picking the roast beef. The hot dog before the roast beef, because then when you do that with men, you're unhappy, just like you're unhappy with the meal. You're like, so Tom, how was the roast beef? I was like, it was mad good. How was your hot dog, shithead? You know what I mean? Like, and 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 then these people that get on fucking, uh, oh man, ooh, oh that place, it's a little pricey, <laughs> ooh, a little pricey. Oh, what? Do you enjoy it? Do you fucking enjoy it? Do you enjoy going there? Oh, yeah, they make the best chicken, blah, blah, blah. What, what do you think they're spending the money on, asshole? What do you think they're rubbing <laughs> their balls and fucking mixing it in the breadcrumbs? No, they're using quality products, so it reflects in the price. Like, maybe that's not for you, you cheap fuck. Yeah, last Sunday, I spent $300 at Wits. Guess Did what? You? I was very happy about it. There you go. Hold on. Uh, I just have my notes. I can't read my own handwriting. Uh, <laughs> if it's if the food is worth it, then you don't care. It's when it's when you spend that money and and the food sucks is when you're pissed. Yeah, but for you the most part, flip the fucking table over. Listen, for the most part, 
And I'm not saying high prices just mean great food. But for the most part, if it's a known spot and it's a little – if it's a known spot, you know what I mean? If you blindly yeah. go to a place and the prices are expensive and the food sucks. But if it's a known spot and someone recommends it and the price is still a little high, there's a reason – that motherfucker suggested it. You know what I mean? It's 100%. like, and they're using the better products. Like, yo, yo, how do you not like? It's it's like it goes back to your choice in men and your choice in women. You know what I mean? Like, yo, it baffles me when I hear a guy, uh, I mean a girl, say that boyfriend's cheap. Like, what? What? Your boyfriend's cheap? You know what I mean? You ate here because your boyfriend's cheap, and you still suck his dick. That means you're cheaper than yourself and your worth. You know what I mean? Your boyfriend's cheap. That makes my dick so hard. I'm like, all right. Well, and when you're single and stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he's like, all right, this bitch is going to be on the market soon. Your cheap boyfriend. How long is that going to last? You know what I mean? If, if you don't want to spend, do you think he's going down on it? Like, ah, my neck. Uh, you know I don't like doing it. Like, I don't know why I just gave him a whiny voice. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I associate cheap with whatever. But uh, <laughs> it, it, it just it goes back to a counter fucking ability. You know what I mean? Like. It, 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 like control what you can control. Your choice in women, the choice where you eat, not not who you vote for. You know what I mean? Like or putting so much time vote, do that. But so much time and Facebook posts and this, it's like yeah, no, don't be so upset about it and or like just so like crazy but, about but it. But just basically. like like yo, food and pussy, like that's what to- weed. That's on the top of my list. You know what I mean? That's what I want to control. That's what I don't want to complain about. Because I want to make, I want to be so clear-minded. I'm making the right decisions about what I'm smoking, where I'm shoving my tongue, and what I'm putting on my tongue. You know what I mean? At the food spot. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like control what you can control, what makes you happy. You know what I mean? And and as some white guy in a suit or some, you know what I mean? Who, like Obama. Like I was just talking about just these stupid politicians. Like you know what I mean? Like if that's what gets you off. Reevaluate your life, man. Reevaluate because chicken piccata and eating pussy gets me off. Smoking fucking eighty dollar blunts on a at twelve o'clock gets me off. You know what I mean? And I'm fucking happy. All right. You think it could be like maybe people do that shit because they like the conspiracy theory part of the whole shit? No, oh, because conspiracy theorists, they a lot of them lay in the cut. You know what I mean? Because a lot of their friends don't want to hear it anymore. You know what I mean? But it's like. <laughs> Conspiracy theory is a fucking different. I feel, like I, I love a good conspiracy, and more and more I'm, they're growing on me. You know what I mean? Because I like like unsolved mysteries. <laughs> like where's Harry? You know what I mean? Like knock on wood, man. I hope he's fucking yeah, alive, man. Tough, man. But yeah, <laughs> it was just fucking getting to me. <laughs> People like just complaining about women and just this and just look in the mirror, man. Look in the mirror. You know what I mean? Like, stop. And listen, you, you say you're smart. How smart are you? You keep picking a shithead. You know what I mean? Like, how are you going to... You should just say, hey, I'm stupid. I make bad decisions. Instead of saying, hey, I'm smart, and this guy is wrong. Like, no, no. You chose that motherfucker. If not, it's rape. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you consented to doing this. Like, you, you, you stood around with that psycho bitch after she fucking wrote drug dealer on your car and destroyed your apartment. Like, whatever they do, these crazy girls. Not from experience. <laughs> and just speaking of hyperboles. I don't even know what a hyperbole is. <laughs> but, then, yeah, this fucking uh, Packwood. You know, we're doing an unboxing today. There we go. Let's get it, get it back out there. Beautiful packaging. Look at this. Oh, came in a beautiful jar. And listen, I had Packwoods before, but never, never something as beautiful as that, you know? Oh man, but that's what, that, that's something that's been bothering me since last week because I've been seeing it more and more on Instagram and Facebook, and it's just I, I had to voice my displeasure because, like I said, I shouldn't be getting laid. I, I should be batting a zero to five percent in laid with the no job, <laughs> the tits, the no hair. And I, I always say this at open mics. I started saying it about comics. It's like, yo, I didn't have a horrific accident at the factory where acid was thrown in my face and I look at like like this now and I like back in the day I got laid on my good looks and charisma. You know, I was still this asshole. You know what I mean? This <laughs> this fat fuck. I've been getting laid since the No, you've the, been this freak for a while, yeah. Yeah, I've been getting laid since the nineties because I you, you, you treat women right, you make them laugh. Like the ass lick and the pussy, the food, like how are you you're a comic, you're funny. Like by accident you should be getting laid. You know what I mean? Like you made a bitch laugh. That was just in a bad relationship with some shithead. Oh, my nose is running, man. Hold me down for a second, Reese. <laughs> this fucking blunt made my nose run. 
This this is what the women really love about him right there. The dripping sweat. Is the dripping sweat and the dripping of the snot out his nose, you know? Especially during sex. That's obviously what does it, you know? Clearly. Guys, you said it's not your looks or your charm. It's clearly the it's my sweat. You see me fucking washing my hands like Corona. I just did the fucking, I blew my nose. So I put some fucking hand sanitizer because I've been living like this before the Corona. And know what? Yeah, bitches do love it. Because when I'm on top, which I'm not off, often because I don't like missionary sex, but I'm fat, I sweat <laughs> a lot, and I remember I love just fucking pounding a girl out and just dripping sweat into her eyes. She, her blinking as you're fucking up because I'm just <laughs> dripping sweat. You know what I mean? I, and I do. Ah, we've all been there, you know? Yeah. But um, listen, I'm back. I, uh, it's that time of the show, the big tits, big picks of the week. I, listen, October was bad for me. You know what I mean? You had a rough one, bro. Yeah. Thank God it's White History Month and it's behind us. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I, 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 I lost last week. I started off October good, but thank God I was up a lot of money from September. At one point, I think I was up 9400 I might have lost like four or five weeks in a row, but that's the beauty of a parlay. I'm not worried. You know what I mean? I think I'm either up 1400 or 2400 on the year, and my picks this week are really fucking... I really I really like my picks this week. Let's hear it. Um, we got the Packers. I'm taking them first half, minus seven against Jacksonville. Usually I take money line. I'm getting greedy. I talked about greed earlier. Greed will kill you, but listen... I need a fucking W, you know? <laughs> Pittsburgh, money line at home. Saints, first half. At, uh, I'm taking the spread there also, minus six. And Ravens for the game against the Patriots, 1,000 pays 6,100. So for the year, the big tits, big picks of the week, I got to check my records. Either up 1,400 or up 2,400. You know what I mean? So this one's for 6,100. Uh, Packers, Saints, first half. Steelers. Ravens for the game, money line. I love this fucking play. Put it in. Let's win some fucking money. And listen, if you want to be safe, take the money line first half. And we're going to get back in the fucking the green. It's November. Elections are behind us. I'm not eating edibles. I can think straight. And I'm ready to go. You know? <laughs> I just smoked a fucking $80 blunt to the fucking head. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel amazing. It's Friday. You know, let's fucking go. Oh, uh, man. And speaking, speaking of... Uh, relationships and shit like that we i gotta revisit something i talked about a couple weeks ago the psychopaths that don't rinse out their cup bowl of cereal coffee cup you fucking name it you know i even rinse out a cup of water i don't know i'm a freak you know what i mean and then someone that <laughs> that's been living with me <laughs> this might come back and haunt me but whatever man <laughs> <laughs> Heard me editing a video where I was talking about these psychopaths that don't rinse out their coffee cup. Now she goes above and beyond to tell me. These people that tell you, like, hey, look, I'm rinsing out the coffee cup. You're more of a psychopath now than the people that don't do it. Because now you're pointing out that you're a psychopath that didn't rinse out cups. You know what I mean? Like, I, we can't go back to childhood. Why you don't rinse out your cup? Who knows? But now, because now you miss up that one time and don't rinse out that coffee cup. And you said, what is this fat fuck talking about? And you gave yourself a little test. You had some raisin bran. It's more when you have, like, yeah, like a cereal or something like that because it could get stuck to the bowl. And then you screwed yourself because good luck getting that off. I literally had to take a Brillo pad to get that shit off. Yeah. No joke. Sa sour milk, anything. You know what but, I mean? Like but, like, cups, like, coffee, like, if you have a dishwasher... That shit is gonna disinfect all that out anyway. So it's like, I like if you're throwing it in the dishwasher. But like a lot of my a coffee deal. cups have my face on it. <laughs> a lot of my shit. What 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 a shot! <laughs> and I can't fucking. I it's like a special wrapping, and I don't want to destroy these cups by putting them in the dishwasher. I just wanted to revisit that because like I'm sitting there making edibles the other day, and like I'm rinsing out the coffee cup. In my head, I'm like, they're doubling down on being a psychopath. Like, this is even worse than not doing it to begin with. You're acknowledging your past mis 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 <laughs> if that's even a fucking word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. Oh, man. More relationship stuff. Bro, Reese, I don't know if you ever had <laughs> sex with someone with an injured back that needs a backyotomy. <laughs> Bro. There's something with the female that a lower back injury, it, they're tight. The back is tight. The injury's tight. Trying to have sex 
with a girl with an injured back. Maybe it was all swollen inside. Or Bro, I think it was. It was like having <laughs> sex with a virgin. I think it was. <laughs> Yo, bro, it was the wildest experience <laughs> of my life. I couldn't even have sex. It was so tight. I went to bed with a heart on because I it felt like I was, it, like, the tension. Like, yo, it was tighter than a virgin. You know what I mean? I know I haven't had sex with a virgin in a while, but shout out to Minaj and the Muslims that are like, not eating bacon and get the like 72. You Minaj? What happened? No, remember <laughs> Minaj the comic we were talking about? Plus, egg yeah. and cheese versus bacon, egg and cheese, 72 virgins yep. versus zero virgins. You know, egg and cheese all day. <laughs> but <laughs> imagine a virgin with a back injury? <laughs> what? Yo, yo, Reese, I couldn't get it in. Like, it, like it was the fucking most awesome, weirdest experience <laughs> of my life, and I Taking stopped. Back to the old and school. I stopped because I treat women right. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, this is gonna hurt her. I don't want to <laughs> hurt her. I love women. My mother's a woman. Why would I do that to a woman? You know what I mean? Well said. <laughs> now my old teacher in Last Chance High used to say that, Mr. P. Shout out to Mr. P. Shout out to my Fort Tilden alumni. Uh, man, we're just speeding right along here, Reese. I got just just a bunch of notes that have been on my fucking mind the past week. Uh, I uh, I got I got some trademark stuff in the works. I don't want to get into it too much because it's in the process. But uh, big things I think on the horizon. Yes, and I <laughs> I, I swear I'm, I'm thinking about it. I, I want to become so rich or allocate my money together soon. And with the creek closing, like I want to. I think I might open a comedy club. I know it takes a lot of money, all this stuff, but you just need like a hole. You know what I mean? Like the liquor license, I know. You think I'm going to get in bed with the government? Let's fucking sell 30 packs on the side. What well, do you think about that? Couldn't you have a place that you, why couldn't you like BYOB kind of place? You know? Yeah, and you pay the mission to get in the door or something. That's like the strip club, Bear Exposure in Atlantic City, the best strip club, in the, one of the best in the world. It's maybe second to the Hong Kong club in Tijuana. <laughs> <laughs> that is, Google the Hong Kong club, Tijuana. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Also, Google bear exposure in, in, in Atlantic City. I'm trying to think of the best ones. Oh, there's another one. Ah, I don't want to incriminate myself in, in Germany. But, uh, <laughs> uh yeah. I, listen, I'm just running through my notes here. Oh, uh, these people in the world, like, Someone texted me, sent me a text before. It was a picture of, like, they're making a cookbook or something. Like, does that look gra- gra- uh, gramma- cur- gramma- <laughs> grammatically correct? Grammati- grammatically? Grammatically be grammatically correct. Yeah, grammatically correct. <laughs> I said, like, ha, 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 back. I'm like, why are you asking me that? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm the least, the last person you should ask. You know what I mean? Like, I I butcher the shit out of the English language. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the teachers back yeah, in the you day. Do. Like, yeah, you do. It's like, no, it's, I'm like, oh, Mrs. O'Connor. It's like, it's Miss. And in my head, I'm like, you think that attitude is going to keep your husband around? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm a kid. You think I know, oh, I'm married. Like, what the fuck does that mean? Like, I never understood. Like, I don't care if you're married. Like, I'm actually going to go to the bathroom, you stupid bitch. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's Mrs. O'Connor or Miss. Like, these grammar Nazis. You know what I mean? Like, they make me sick. You know what I mean? The, I'm not, I haven't been on Tinder, but, like, that was a big thing. Yours, your, your. Like, bitches would have that in their profile. Like, uh, swipe left if you don't know the difference between your, your, and yours. You know what I mean? Like, I, I remember I remember I dated a girl briefly. She was big on that. And I'm like, yo, bitch, you're broke. Like, you know what I mean? Like, will not you worry about the pocket lint in your pocket? Like, I don't even know if it's apostrophe R-E or O-U-R. But know what? I'd be worried more about that lint in your pocket than worried about how the fuck I speak. Because my pocket, don't worry about my pocket. I'm not even going to speak about my pocket. But you know what I mean? Like, these grammar Nazis. It's like, yo, shut the fuck. Worry about, like, your, your teeth are yellow. You know what I mean? Well, go to the dentist. You know what I mean? Like, go to the gym. You know what I mean? Like, like you know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's better things to worry about than like, somebody else's freaking grandma. Like, take those nouns and throw them in the oven. Like, like, <laughs> like, 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 what the fuck are you talking about, you stupid fox? There's so many other things in this world to worry about than your, your, or yours. Like, <laughs> is it even, like, uh, is it even an issue, like a difference? Like, you get the, if you get the point, is there really a difference? To snobs, I guess. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's like, oh, the cow is blue. Oh, you mean the sky? Like, oh, all right, there's a difference there. But if you're yeah. like, hey, your sky is blue or you are sky, like, well, like. But you wouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't say that, though. So it's like, I guess it's only in 
Are they talking about like in texting? If you really care know. about it's, grammar and texting, a, then like get over big, yourself, really. No, these bitches. They would send it back with an asterisk. I don't even have spell check on my phone anymore. Or that I took it all off because I hated all that. Bro, so, I was like, getting in trouble for saying retard instead of retard. So I don't even like when I start off. There's no capital anything. So like everything's just lower cased. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, my like just when I would say retard, I was getting mocked for a little while. Like I'm a retard, <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was retard. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and I was getting in trouble for that. It's like, yo, obviously I'm retarded. Like, leave me alone, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Worry about your pocket lint, you dumb. Ah, we gotta treat women right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what else do I got here? Uh, <laughs> women bitching, resisting that. <laughs> Tight virgins. Uh, uh, also, yeah, listen, besides grammar Nazis, we're talking about just shitheads, like the decisions and the way people drive. It's really a reflection of what's wrong with society. Uh, you say you were driving here, and they put a new speedometer thing. It's not even new. It's the freaking damn speedometer that's on the strip going into Breezy, right? Now, people will fucking fucking do 60 down the road. Flying, flying, going, fine. It's not even flying. It's just driving. It's a strip. There's no fucking turns. I don't even know why it's as, what is it, 25 or something? It's ridiculous. And then all of a sudden, they'll see their speed and then fucking throw their brake on with nobody in front of them. It's like, yo, you didn't fucking know your speed anyway. Guess what? Yo, I hate that. I hate to break the news to you. There's a speedometer in your fucking car, you moron. Why don't you look at that? Is that going to slow you up? No. Then what? what are you afraid that thing's going to give you a fucking ticket? What's wrong with these people? Yeah, people suck. Hey, listen. It makes... No, no, no. Just tell me the ment... Like, uh, next time, I wish I could just pull one of them over. It's like, yo, what is the mentality of breaking when you see that? Definitely. What is the mentality? They're retarded. They're retarded. Retarded or retarded? <laughs> <laughs> and, like, don't even get me started about when someone sees a yield sign. Like, they pat... It's, a, it's not a stop sign, shithead. You know what I mean? Like, you yield and you go through. Like, if, yo, if somebody's coming, you would have to yield. That's all it is. It's yo, just listen, like, make sure that other guy has the right of way. That's all that's telling you. But if there's nobody there, you just go. They should make stricter fucking, uh, what's that shit called? Road. Traffic laws. Road test rules. Oh, and have okay. just people keep failing, have them keep paying. That's a good point because, like, anybody can pass a road and, test. And then, yo, listen, then if you get caught driving with no license, making an obscene amount of money, then you'll see a lot more better drivers on the motherfucking road. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, find yeah. them. If you get caught, no driving, no license, because the test is so hard, you don't get the fucking license. It's an obscene fine. We'll throw them in jail. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and now you can't get a license for five years. Yeah. Or like yeah, Yo, yeah, yeah something yeah. got to change. These people are fucking retarded. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, it's bad. It's bad. There's a lot of bad drivers out there. And it's not even in New York, man. I was driving in Pennsylvania. And now, oh, real quick. That's an $80 blunt to the head. That's all glass. <laughs> nice. Packwood's in the house. Um, yeah, no, Pennsylvania, I was there last weekend. They're morons. There was a lot of fucking deer. They, those are morons, too. <laughs> like, yo, right where you are, and then they're like, we're trying to get in front of the car. <laughs> I sort of like that shit. You know what I mean? It's like a, op- and, it's like a video game a little. Like, I wasn't driving my car, but and people, I was in someone else's car, so that's why I felt and they good. Wreck, you know, they wreck cars like crazy. <laughs> yeah, Because their numbers get up too much. That's why there's got to be hunting. I know animal lovers will hate that, but I'm sorry, but it has to be done. Yeah, they're, they're more retards. Don't even fucking listen to them. <laughs> like, that's why you don't give people a voice, because you give them too much power, and then they, they just take it and just keep wanting to run with it. It's it, fucking retards. I can't kill a deer. Yeah, right. Well, it can kill you. You know what I mean? Like, it was just, I was just trying to fucking buy time with that deer shit because I had something to say and I fucking lost it. Like, just smoked the <laughs> $80 blunt. But, um, yeah, man, fucking. Yo, Reese, thanks for sitting in, man. Uh, yep. Feels good. I like the early Friday show. You know what I mean? Then we have the rest of the day to do whatever the fuck you want. Not eat an edible because I'm trying to be a better person. I'm trying to continue to get my dick sucked. <laughs> <laughs> not voting. Yes, because they're not voting at all. <laughs> not eating edibles. <laughs> yeah, this, that's. That's how you get a, a good man. You know what I mean? You use that pussy to your advantage. You know what I mean? Like, or your dick, or your, your tongue. Or, I'm you know? sure I'm sure some of them do. I'm yeah, sure that some of them do. They should be hosting webinars and TED Talks with a fucking little, <laughs> little headpiece here, with a fucking yeah, a red dot pointing to the pussy and the tits and the mouth. 
<laughs> and saying, this is how you control them. <laughs> this is what they want. Yeah. This no, is what you don't give them. Don't give them this. Get what you want. <laughs> Capiche? $200. Thanks for coming to my webinar. That's it. <laughs> you pay, it took more time finding a parking spot than figuring out how the world works with a pussy and a blowjob machine. Call your mouth. <laughs> don't even get me started on these girls that fucking, like, these give, they give half-ass blowjobs. Like, why even commit? Yeah, well, what you, I hate. Yeah, that's the worst. Like, hey, There's man, nothing worse than that. Let me just wrist arthritic knees getting on my on the floor <laughs> to do a half-ass job. Like, are you happy? Does this feel good? Have I said good job? Have I patted you on the fucking head? <laughs> Keep fucking learning. Go back to that webinar, that TED Talk, and fucking pay attention this time. Because <laughs> I'm going to vote and eat a fucking edible. <laughs> now, listen, this has been another episode of the Big T Show. Thank you for watching, my man Reese, holding it down, sitting yeah. in. Thank you, brother. Yeah, and yeah. Um, we, we, we might run a, run a show back on Zoom on Sunday because, listen, I love Mateo. He couldn't make it today. And uh, I love just talking to Mateo. We'll have some action on. The football game's on. And, um, you know, listen, it's been another episode of the Big T Show. Remember, be the person you are when you're high. See you next week. Later. <laughs>